All right, hello, and it's Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be taking a look at the X-Men Inferno Omnibus, which I don't remember now if this is a reprint of an omnibus or, because I know that they had some oversized hardcovers uh, for the Inferno run, uh, but I don't know if we had an omnibus beforehand. Either way, we've got an omnibus of it now that it just recently came out, and um, this collects quite a bit. It's 1,240 pages. So it's definitely on the bigger side. I love the amazing Spider-Mans that we have in here. Like that lizard. Ah, oh, man. Todd McFarlane's just amazing. So anyway, uh, this collects. Uh, so first of all, it is $125 in the US, $157 in Canada. I think I got this one for... I think I ordered this one from Amazon for about $100 uh, in, in Canada. Uh, so this collects. Uh, there's going to be a lot here. Um, X-Factor, 33 to 40. Exterminators, 1 to 4. Uncanny X-Men, 239, 243. New Mutants, 71, 73. Um, Power Pack, 40 and 42 to 44. Avengers, 298 to 300. Fantastic Four, 322 to 324. Amazing Spider-Man, 311 to 313. Spectacular Spider-Man, 146 to 148. Web of Spider-Man, 47 to 48. Daredevil, 262, 63, and 64. And Excalibur 67, Mutant Misadventures of Cloak and Dagger number four, and material from X Factor Annual number four. My goodness, covers a lot. That's. I'm generally not a fan of a bunch of crossovers. Uh, I'm curious to see how well. I've never really. I mean, I mean, I guess the Green Lanterns have some of that, and they did a really good job with the crossovers and things like that, but I've never really read a lot of stuff with a bunch of crossovers uh, yet. So I'm curious to see how much I'm going to like it. Uh, so let's take off the dust jacket. Uh, so here we've got some information on the event Inferno and then the creators. All right. I like the red for the bookend pages. And normally, for a book from, I think this is late 80s, early 90s, uh, we would get just like the regular black, but they added the, because it's Inferno, they added some fire. I like this. This, this, this adds a little bit of flare, flare to it. Um, it's nice. All right. Now, I will say that I did have to stretch this out quite a bit. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but I wanted to really stretch it out so that we could really see everything in here. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, 1,240 pages. It's touching. I mean, you would expect that, I guess, from Marvel. But they, they've been doing some weird stuff lately. Let's bring that down just a little bit more. Uh, so, uh, oh, is there anything? There's probably something here. That's a nice image. People that made this, always nice to see. Table of contents. So this is October 1988 to, I think there's some 90s stuff in here. Is there not somewhere? I thought there was, maybe not. Just to 89? All right, so October, or sorry, August and November of 1988. So I guess August of 88 up until February of 89. Ah, there's some, there's a, some, some 18, 88 and 89 is basically what we're looking at here. Also the previouslys, I love that they have that. And then we dive right into it. I will say that this isn't, there's some art in here that I like and some that I don't necessarily like. The other thing too is I don't really know a lot of, other than X Factor and X-Men, I don't really know a lot about all these other characters. And I'm sure that that's blasphemy. And, you know, I will end up liking these. Power Pack is another thing that, I, that has never really interested me. I'm going to read it, obviously, when I get to this, but. And so we can see that, I mean, it, it's having no, it's not wanting to close, but we are getting a little bit of gutter loss. And that's why I had to really, you know, do, do a good stretching of this. And the eye isn't amazing. I will show you in a little bit here. What's nice though, is that there's not a lot of splash cover, uh, splash pages with this because it's, you know, eighties and nineties. There's the Daredevil stuff is nice though. I really like the Daredevil stuff. This looks nice too. That's nice.
but I have I have no idea what this event is. Um, I only knew that it was an event, and that's it. I have no idea at all what takes place here. That's cool. X Factor. I just know it's more X-Men and I needed to have that. The Daredevil stuff though, when we get to the Daredevil stuff, because it's John Romita Jr., who I absolutely love. He's a guilty pleasure, I guess. Uh, where's about the middle of the book? About right here. Oh, another thing too, I wanted to comment on the pages Sometimes they're glossy, sometimes they're not. It depends on what issue you're on. And I that that's weird. That's really weird to me that sometimes it's glossy and sometimes it's not. I don't get that. Like this feels a little bit more rough. Yeah, this is not really it's not it doesn't have that nice gloss finish to it, which is weird. I don't understand that. I think my camera's been moving a bit. Oh, some McFarlane here. I feel like that's clearly him. So the Spider-Man stuff, I'm going to really enjoy the art for. But there's also is the Daredevil stuff later. I can't remember. I saw it when I was looking at it earlier. There we go. John Remedia. I love his art. And then we got some extras here. I think there's like maybe close to, or is this still, no, that's still issues. There's the extras. No, that's still some issues. There we go. End of the book though. And it's, you know, it's having no problem staying open, which is always nice. And they do look at that. Look. How nice this is done. If there was a splash page here, man, it'd be gorgeous. There'd be no gutter loss at all. Oh, man. Look at that. I like that. I'm a sucker for Romita Jr. art. I, he's, he's totally a guilty pleasure. So let's get, take a look at the eye. It's not great. Uh, maybe a bit more this way. Good enough. Uh, maybe a bit more. There we go. It's it's okay, but when it's lying down, it's not popping out as much. Uh, it's still no, it's still there. It's still there. It's 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 okay. Um, but it, I I feel like at the beginning of the book here, I mean, you've got so many pages. So, but you're not something. Eh. Go to loss happens when there's the splash page and there's not real. I, I mean, I, I did. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, you are missing out on some, but there's at least nothing in here that you would be missing out on, but there you go. Bear that in mind when you're picking it up. It is a big book, 1240 pages. It's nice that it does lay flat though. It stays open. Uh, it doesn't want to close. Uh, it stays. It doesn't want to close shut on you. So there you have it. X-Men Inferno. Some more X-Men goodness. So thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage.